We are facing a major challenge. If it's not addressed, the consequences will be costly. It's clear from science that time is running out to act on climate change. But many believe that climate action is too expensive. It seems we have a choice to make. But do we? Is this really a dilemma? The next 15 years of investment will be decisive. Over this time, we are expected to spend $89 trillion on the world's infrastructure. So we should be asking ourselves, how do we invest to foster sustainable economic development? How do we invest to maximize prosperity and minimize risks? In short, how do we invest our money wisely? By increasing our investment from 89 to 93 trillion dollars, we can make our infrastructure climate compatible. This is a higher upfront cost, but the benefits down the track are huge. There are many key economic sectors where climate smart investments can achieve multiple real world benefits. Renewable energy improves energy security, creates jobs and reduces air pollution. Every year, 8 million deaths globally can be attributed to exposure to air pollution indoor and outdoor. Protecting forests and restoring agricultural lands reduces emissions whilst also boosting food and livelihood security. Restoring just 12% of the world's degraded land could feed 200 million people by 2030. Most of the infrastructure will be built in cities and once it's built, it will be hard to change. Implementing solutions like smarter urban planning, better public transport and efficient buildings, we can not only reduce emissions in the long term but also help build more efficient, competitive and livable cities. These cascading benefits of climate action appear in many other policy areas, and even though they are usually difficult to quantify, they are real and significant. What is often overlooked is that there are many costs associated with our high-carbon systems, costs that are locked in and have a high risk of growing in the future. Globally, the fossil fuel subsidies reached $490 billion in 2014. We need to shift our economy onto a sustainable climate compatible path. It requires higher upfront investments, but it will be much cheaper in the long term. International financing mechanisms as well as technology sharing institutions are available to support this process. All policymakers have the power to integrate this big picture into their decision making. Cooperation across sectors and regions is needed to fully realize the benefits of climate-compatible policies. If we look at the big picture, protecting the climate and creating prosperity is within our grasp. Let us seize our opportunity to shift the economy onto a climate-compatible path. Let us invest wisely. Let us realize the benefits of climate action.